Good morning. You are listening to Upreach, a morning devotional presented by the Church Street Church of Christ in Lewisburg, Tennessee, to encourage you as you face the opportunities and challenges of today. Let's begin this day together with some inspiring thoughts from God's Holy Word. Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. For whatever a man sows, that he will also reap. For he who sows to his flesh will of the flesh reap corruption. But he who sows to the Spirit will of the Spirit reap everlasting life. And let us not grow weary while doing good, for in due season we shall reap if we do not lose heart. Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all, especially to those who are of the household of faith. Galatians chapter 6, verses 7 through 10. I remember reading a tale about D.L. Moody. A man came to him with a very sorry story. What would you do, Mr. Moody, he asked, if you got into a mess like that? Man, said Moody, I would never have gotten myself into it in the first place. There are so many things which need never happen if action is taken in time. Many a labor and industrial dispute will never arise if some grievance is personally handled in time. Many an international crisis and even a war can be averted if someone has the sense to act in time. Many a situation in a church is allowed to grow to serious proportions when, if we would simply deal with it in Christian love and prayer from the beginning, it can often be cured immediately. Many a young person makes a shipwreck of his life simply because a parent or older friend does not want the trouble and the unpleasantness of speaking a word of warning and rebuke to him in time. It is wrong to leave things until we must clear up the mess when there need never have been a mess at all, if we had simply acted in time. It is always wrong to be propelled into action from motives of criticism. Action which is really the result of criticism, whether the criticism is expressed or whether it is unexpressed, is always the action of superiority, and conscious superiority at that. And we get nowhere that way. Action must always be taken in love and in sympathy. So long as we stand above people, we cannot really help them. We can do something for them, but that is a very different story from helping them. The action which is fundamentally the action of criticism may be efficient enough, but it can never speak to the heart. I, for one, hope that I can learn that lesson. What about you today? Are you being proactive, actively making an effort to prevent problems and crises before they can occur? Why not be a peacemaker and a problem solver? Better yet, a problem preventer in the kingdom of God. This has been Upreach, a presentation of the Church Street Church of Christ in Lewisburg, Tennessee. I am Kyle Bolton, the pulpit minister at Church Street, and I would like to personally invite you to come and share times of Bible study and worship with us each week. We meet every Sunday at 9 o'clock a.m. for our morning worship, followed by our Sunday school for all ages at 10.15 a.m. Then we meet again at 6 o'clock p.m. for our evening worship. We also have a midweek meeting for devotion and Bible study on Wednesdays at 6.30 p.m. I hope to see you there. Have a blessed day. Jesus, Redeemer, Messiah, Yeshua, the Lamb of His glory. Redeemer, Messiah.